This is a video for how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism from a linear distance in inches and then convert that volume to be expressed in cubic centimeters. So on the left hand side of the screen you will notice that we have a rectangular prism that's made out of a series of cubes and each one of the cubes has a linear distance of 0.25 so in this case we're going to say that this line right here will represent the width but one of the cubes is only 0.25 wide, 0.25 tall, and 0.25 deep. So we will get more back into the linear distance aspect of this in a second. We want to calculate the total volume of this rectangular prism. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at a calculator. And when the calculator loads, we will talk about the width, depth, and the height. So in this case, we have the width down here, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes wide. So we're going to say seven times four boxes tall, four times three boxes deep equals 84 total cubes make up this rectangular prism. So we just said the the width of the object was seven cubes wide, four cubes tall by three cubes deep. That means this rectangular prism has a total of 84 cubes on the inside of it. Now within our question up here at the top above our calculator, we're going to notice it says each linear distance is 0.25 inches. So what that means again is that we have 0.25 wide by 0.25 tall by 0.25 deep. We're not saying that these cubes are one inch by one inch by one inch. They would be smaller than that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just copy our 0.84. I'm going to right click and I can just copy that and I'm going to click clear our area and I'm going to say 0.25 times 0.25 times 0.25. This is what the volume of one of these cubes would be if it has a linear distance of 0.25. Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space an object takes up. So one of these cubes really only takes up this much of a three-dimensional space. It's not going to be a lot. So in this case, each one of these cubes takes up 0 0.015625 cubic inches. Now what we want to do is we want to multiply this number times our 84 cubes. So I'm going to say time and in this case I can hit control V on my keyboard and that will give me our 84 back. I could have right clicked and said paste up here at the top and I'm going to hit enter. And the entire volume of this entire rectangular prism now is 1.3125 cubic inches. So this whole entire box has taken up just a little bit more than a cubic inch would take. So this is a pretty small rectangular prism when we're taking a look at the volume of the object. Now I want to go ahead and just copy this number because we have to convert this to cubic centimeters. So I'm going to right click on this number and I'm going to go to copy. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to clear our calculator. Now as far as cubic centimeters are concerned there are 2.54 centimeters in an inch. So in this case we are going to need to cube 2.54. So we are going to say 2.54 times 2.54 times 2.54 is going to come out to 16.387 cubic centimeters. So there's that many cubic centimeters in a cubic inch. So in order for us to convert the cubic inches from our math we did earlier for this object, we're going to have to multiply the number from our cubic inch calculation times how many cubic inches are in cubic centimeters are in one cubic inch. So I'm going to say times, and I'm going to paste our previous number in and hit enter. And there are a total of 21.508 cubic centimeters in this object. So what that means is we just expressed our our previous number in cubic in cubic inches and now this number is expressed in cubic centimeters. So once again there are 2.54 centimeters in an inch. We cube the 2.54 number and multiply that times our existing volume in cubic inches of our rectangular prism. And this is going to give us the final answer to how to calculate the volume of the part expressed in cubic centimeters. That is a conversion from cubic inches. So this has been a video on how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism from a linear distance and calculate the cubic inches of that rectangular prism and convert it to cubic centimeters.